Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another inside the dressing room. Today's inside the dressing room is going to be at Kato. So many of you guys requested to see a video at Kato, so I'm finally stopping in. I actually have a store very, very close by to me, but I just have never gotten the chance to stop in. So thank you guys for requesting today's video. For today's video, I did put together about six full outfits, and of course, everything I share today will be listed in the description box down below. Everything I share today is actually from the plus size section, but Kato actually carries size inclusive items, so a lot of the pieces I'm sharing are available in both straight size and plus. But again, check those links in the description box down below. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this intro short because I have so much good stuff to share with you guys, so if you're interested in seeing today's Inside the Dressing Room at Kato, then please keep watching. So to get started, I'm first wearing a blue swing dress. This one is in a size 14, 16, which pretty much everything is that I'm going to be trying on today. And the original price on this item is $34.99. Now that is the original price. A lot of these items are on sale. So check the links in the description box down below for the current price. As for this dress, as I mentioned, it is a swing dress. It actually has pockets on both sides and it actually has a turtleneck design as well. If you guys know, you know I don't personally love, love a turtleneck as I do feel like sometimes it can be constricting. This one specifically, it was a little tight on the neck, but other than that, I do really like this dress as a whole. I think it gave my body a really nice shape. It really highlighted my curves. I love anything that has pockets and I love the color and the colors on this dress. So it's not a solid blue. There's kind of like blue and black kind of like mixed in. Moving on to the next outfit, I absolutely love, love this one. The top I'm wearing is just a basic crew neck sweater. This one's in a size 14, 16, and it originally cost $21.99. This sweater is available in a bunch of different colors, so check links in the description box down below. As for the skirt, I'm wearing a utility Ponte pencil skirt. This one is in a size 14, 16, and this one cost $24.99. Love, love this full outfit. I love the colors of it. I love the design of the skirt. I love how figure flattering it is. Um, it actually has buttons in the center, and those buttons are actually faux, so they do not actually open, so you don't have to worry about anything puckering, which I thought was great. There are pockets on both sides as well, but I do believe the pockets are faux. And then in the very back of the skirt, there are actually pockets back there too, and those pockets are functioning. This skirt fits me at a really, really good length. If you guys didn't know, I am 5'10". I always keep my stats listed in the description box down below. And it can be challenging sometimes at re retailers to find skirts or dresses that do fit me at a great length. So in my personal opinion, I would say that Kato is totally tall girl friendly. With that being said, this next outfit, I did find these jeans to fit a little bit on the shorter side. However, I do find the fits on all of the rest of the pieces to be tall girl friendly. So starting with the top, for this outfit, I am wearing the dramatic sleeve woven top, again, in a size 14, 16, and this one cost $21.99. I thought this top was just so fun and so pretty. I love the color, like that burnt orange tone. I love the sleeves. We have a little bit of pleating as well as the more like bell sleeve at the bottom. As for the pants, like I mentioned, they're not the best in regards to length. I mean, they're not the worst, but they could be a little bit longer for my preference. So the jeans I'm wearing are actually a black pair of jeggings. These are in a size 16 actually, and they cost $28.99. These are a nice pair of pants. They're definitely a thicker material. So these would be a great option to wear to work. They still have some stretch in them, but they don't look so much like a thinner jegging that a lot of stores carry. These still have the stretch in them, but look like actual pants. They do have the button and zipper closure in the front and traditional front and back pockets as well. And the next piece here, I just throw on a cardigan. This one is the contrast stripe cardigan in a size 14, 16. I love the tones of this cardigan. I love how cozy, how lightweight it is. I love the tone of this cardigan actually with the burnt orange top from before, but I actually even think this cardigan would look good with the crew neck sweater and the pencil skirt that I was wearing previously. I feel like this cardigan is very versatile and it would be a good transitional piece as well because it is a lighter weight material so good to wear between winter and spring. 
Next outfit here is not my absolute favorite, unfortunately. I'm wearing a pair of wide leg tie waist pants. These are in a size 14, 16, and they cost $27.99. These pants do fit higher waisted. They do have the tie design, as I mentioned. We have pockets in the front, and then they do have the wider leg at the bottom. The reason I don't absolutely love these pants, though, is because I do personally hold a lot of my weight in my hip and thigh region and because these pants are actually pleated in the front i did feel like they were kind of enhancing the look of my hips so they're not my absolute absolute favorite i love the idea of them but i just feel like the fit was just a little off at least on my body type but as for the top i'm wearing just a gray leopard top this one again is in a size 14 16 and this one costs 21.99 i love this top it could easily be dressed up dressed down really depending on what you're looking for we have buttons in the front and pockets on both sides i just thought this was so so cute and the very last outfit i'm sharing today this is a quicker try on but i'm wearing another crew neck sweater again in a size 14 16 this one cost $21.99. This is the same sweater that I was wearing with the green skirt previously in the black color here. As for the bottoms, I'm wearing another skirt. This skirt is the animal sweater skirt in a size 14, 16, and this one cost $27.99. So this is actually a sweater material skirt. So it is very thick, a really great piece to wear in the winter time. It does fit high waisted. We have the cinched waist up at the top and then it flares out at the bottom. I like the idea of this skirt, but I will say again, kind of with what I mentioned with the pants from before, being that I hold my weight in that area, so the hip and thigh, like lower tummy area. So in my personal opinion, I would recommend sizing up if you hold your weight in that area. If you don't, then you may not have an issue and you may not need to size up. But for me personally, I definitely would because again, it is really enhancing that like lower tummy, like hip region for me. But other than that, I mean, I think it's absolutely adorable. Plus, I absolutely love leopard and any type of animal print. So this one is a win for me. Hey guys, that is actually going to do it for this Inside the Dressing Room. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And check out my Instagram. I'll have it linked in the description box down below. All items that I share today will be listed in the description box down below, including links to shop and my size. I will have to say today's try on was a success in my opinion. I feel like it's always hard going into a new store and not really knowing what to expect. I did have a little bit of a struggle trying to put outfits together when I first got there, but after I got a hang of like the setup of the store and kind of like their style, I found it to be a little bit easier. Unfortunately, I did only put together six outfits because I wanted this to be like a quicker video as it was truly my first impression of the store. I will definitely go back though if you guys want to see another try on or I can place an order online. Whatever you guys prefer, let me know in the comments down below. They had a ton of cute shoes as well, so I'm kind of like tempted to place an order rather than go back and try on stuff. But of course, let me know what you guys think down below. If you guys have any, any video suggestions at all, anything you guys would like to see from me in 2020, let me know down below. I know in the next week or so, I'll probably be putting together some Valentine's Day inspired outfits. So if you guys have any specific places you would like me to shop, let me know that down below. But that is actually going to do it for today's video. So thank you guys all so, so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day, amazing week, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. See, see, see.